gang. <laughs> Hello, you lovely lot. Welcome back. Uh, my name's Marcus. Welcome to Notch 211 and welcome back to my permission. If you're new here, you are very, very most welcome. Uh, thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoy what you see. Uh, today I'm back on my permission. It's a Friday afternoon. Uh, it's a windy Friday afternoon. We've got a storm coming up from the south. Uh, it's going to batter the west of the country, but the good news is we're in the east. So whilst it's going to be pretty breezy, it's dragging up some lovely warm air. So as you can probably see from the intro, probably just about behind the trees, we've got some lovely warm weather, we've got some lovely blue skies, but with it a bit of breeze. So I thought I'd grab the opportunity on a Friday afternoon. The clocks changed last weekend, which means the, uh, the time sprung forward. Uh, so we lost an hour in bed, but we gained an hour of sunlight. So I've uh, slipped off from work a little bit early, and that's allowed me a good three or four hours, I hope, of sunshine to be able to come dig in. So we've got warm weather, we've got wind, but we've got a good field that's been really kind to me over the years. I've got the dais too, and I'm looking forward to giving it a go. So without further ado, thanks as always for joining me. Let's see what we find, kids. Right, and no more than five or six paces from where I did my intro, we've got our first signal. So this field, as I said, has been very kind to me. Uh, it's not big, it's probably no more than about five acres. Um, it's uh, pasture, as you can tell, uh, but it's also given me lots and lots of history. There's lots of targets on here. A lot of it is junk, to be fair, but we have found some good stuff on here. So we've started with a 45, so I thought, well, let's hope for a first hole banger. Um, it's there. Oh, there we go, we've got something disc shaped. Oh, that's a button, I think. Yeah, and I'll apologise now in case we do get any wind noise through. I've got the wind mic on, but there's also background noise as well. But yeah, first hole, well, not a banger. Not a banger, a button, four holer. We don't mind that. Right, let's get cracking. Well, next one. High 70s, straight after that four hole button. So, uh, yeah, straight onto another target. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's quite a nice tone, that actually. High 70s. Um, could be coin, could be can. <laughs> it's one of those tones, one of those, one of those sets of numbers. Um, but yeah, I'm so, I've been so looking all day. Uh, been really busy at work this week. Uh, all day, been looking forward to getting out this evening and um, I'm so pleased that the rain has not only gone away but it's been replaced by lovely warm sunshine so yeah so far so good eh yeah it's kind of still mid 70s and it's out by the looks of it right well, there's something green Oh yeah, oh look at that, what a start. Full hole button, shame it's not a hole, but a glorious bit of buckle, look at that. Oh that's really, really nice. Yeah, that's a cracking start. Not sure if it's got any pattern on it, but it's pretty old I would suggest. And it's pretty lovely. So that's hole number two. Brilliant, see you in a bit. Well, I'm loving this. Straight after that buckle, the tripod could stay out. We've got a 67. And I'm not sure if you can hear that through the microphone, but it's quite, quite a nice tone. So, whilst the tripod was out, I thought we'd keep it out and do a live dig. Oh, lovely, right. Uh, and I think, I mean, already I haven't probably moved no more than about 50 foot and I've had three good good signals already. So I'm guessing all, oh, lovely. all this lovely uh, rain we've had, which has been a nightmare for most, has brought this field back to life. Yeah, 63, 64 now. Brilliant. Let's see what we got. It's in there, not overly deep. Let's get the digger out to try and find this one. Being careful. Okay. Oh, we've, we've hit it. Oh, no, hit it. We've found it. 
Uh, maybe not quite so good. He says, mm, no, I think it's probably just a bit of green. Let's move on. Well, the next one was deep. It's a really faint 78, 79. Uh, I've had a couple of buttons and a bit of cack since you last saw me. Uh, and as you can probably see, that's my MI6 pinpointer, which is 10 inches long, and that's below the surface of the, of the grass. So that's about a foot down. Um, and anyway, I've turfed out that, which is green, but it looks like it's got a bit of color to it. So I thought I'd better turn the camera on just in case. Can you see that? Let's just get the other glove off, actually. Mm. Yeah. What was it? Honest answers, I don't know. Is it just a bit of green? Or is it something of note? Mm, don't know. Don't know. Leave it with me. I'm going to give it a little gentle brush rather than giving it a spray so I don't take that colour off. And then I'll come back to you if there's anything of note to look at. Hmm, yeah, not sure. See you in a bit. I don't know. I'm going to keep this on the film just in case. I'll give it a gentle brush. There's something there, isn't there? I don't know whether that's just modern rubbish or it's got a bit of age to it. I'm, I'm none the wiser, if I'm honest. But, um, yeah, we'll log it and we'll move on. See you in a bit. Well, the wind has really picked up, hence why my gloves are in that hole. To stop them from blowing halfway down the field, as they just did. Um, yeah, it's been a quiet 20 minutes or so. I found three or four targets and they've all been shotties. Uh, I'm digging anything today. If it's got a, a decent enough tone, because I've done this field so many times, anything that's got a tone, I'm going to dig it. Uh, anyway, the next one was a 47. Uh, and I've pinpointed it, as you can see, to here. Now, I'm just going to try and zoom you in a bit. Can you see that? It looks a bit buckly and a bit round, but I might be wrong. So I, that's as much as I've seen so far. So I thought I would turn the camera on and get it out together. Yep. Oh, pardon me. Let's just move that. Oh, yeah. That is lovely. Okay. Is it Buckley or is that a screw? <laughs> Actually, that might be a screw. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? That looks like it's got a thread on it. Oh, I don't know. I should be better at it. Oh, I don't know, though. That must be a buckle, is it? What would you say? Yeah, it's got to be, isn't it? Looks like a, it looks like there's a little housing for it there. Or is that is that a drawer handle? And that was a screw that went into the drawer? Mm, seems more likely to me. Yeah, that yeah, that could fool anyone that you think that was a buckle all day long. And it could be, but I kind of feel that it might not be. Oh well. Okay, well we'll put it in the box just in case and we'll move on. See you in a bit. Right, the next one that warrants a live dig is a lovely 88. And again, I'm not sure whether you'll hear that. But I hope you do. And it's, and it's a repeatable 88, uh, so it's not wavering from 88 at all. So I'm hoping for good things. Oh. Right, let's just pop that down. I've done quite a big plug, he says. It's bloody massive. <laughs> Still 88, and in the plug. Right, let's bring you in. Just, oh, there you go. Didn't even see it, just fell out. Did you see it fall out? Ended up down there, but here we are. First coin of the day. Had to be, didn't it, with those numbers? It's a copper one, and that's okay, and it's a farthing, I would imagine. So I'm going to give that a squirt and come back to you if there's anything on it. See you in a bit. So you can probably see uh, Britannia there. And 
There is a remnant. Oh yeah, someone facing left. So a George, I suspect. Hard to say. Apologies for the wind. It's really blowing a blowing a hooli. Uh, yeah, it's a George of someone. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty confident. Yeah, it's a farthing. It's a George. It's a bit crusty. Let's move on. Well, for my regular viewers, you'll know how important this is to me. Look at that. A lot of people would walk past that and go, oh, just an old towel. But many, many months ago now, I lost a really sentimentally important towel that I used to have hanging from my belt, which I used to use to clean my finds. And I just found it. It wasn't as good as this. It was buried in the, in the grass, but I just suddenly spotted it out the corner of my eye. And there you go the Marcus Armstrong Memorial. So that's a dear, dear friend of mine who passed away far too young. We shared the same first name, but we also had lots and lots going for each other. We had good, fr good friendship. I worked for his dad and yeah, uh, sorely missed. Been gone a long, long time now. Uh, and I was gutted when I lost this and have now been reunited. So that uh, I better take better care of it going forward, but that's gonna have a nice wash and be swinging back on my belt very, very soon. Fantastic find of the day for me, anyway. Let's move on. Right, next one, straight after that coin, is a 64 in the clod. So I thought I'd turn the camera on and we'll have a look together. That's there somewhere. Right, let's get the old digger out. Doing it one handed, folks, so bear with me. Ah, curse of the lie reveal. Oh, it's lead. Yeah, a lead something or other. Okay, bit of lead for the scrap bucket. Moving on. Right, the next one, and for no other reason than for showing off my pinpointing skills, uh, <laughs> we had a 6970, and it is quite literally smack bang in the middle of the hole. So I thought we'd have a look together. I'll get the digger out. Oh, there we go. Something disc-like. Is that lead? Oh, it is lead. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. Oh, could you, I'll never ever tire of finding those. I'll just get my glove off and get my little um, toothbrush. Don't wet these because you end up washing off the pattern. Just a gentle rub. There we are, folks. A beautiful medieval token with that lovely little flower shape. I found two or three of these now. Uh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I was not expecting that. I thought that was going to be a shotty, I've got to say. Or, or something like that. Um, but that's brilliant. Best find of the day so far, that. And again, you can't tire of finding these types of things. Proper history. Good few hundred years plus old users kind of farming or trade tokens made of lead with a lovely little flower pattern on it. We'll have that. Thank you very much. Right, let's move on. Well, the next one was a 60 and I haven't filmed it. Um, and I've even rubbed it and checked it. Um, and again, it's one of those that you kind of want it to be something. Um, it looks a bit buckly to me, as in that's the, that could be like a strap end piece. Let me just rub that on my jeans. Yeah, I have, I have a feeling it might be. It's definitely two bits of metal, look, because you can see part of the, the lower bit there, sandwiched between something. 
and then you've got the little pinny bit at the back there. So, yeah, some sort of buckle attachment or buckle part or strap end, something like that. No idea of the age, but, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm filming it, and we'll give it a clean up a bit later. See you in a bit. Right then, well, we're desperately running out of time, I've got to tell you. Uh, the light's fading. Uh, it's been about three and a half hours, and I've only probably got about half an hour that I need to get back. Um, it's been a real quiet hour or so since you last saw me. Found loads in the kind of high 40s and into the mid 50s, which you haven't seen, which were, uh, were either buttons, shotties, or just bits of rubbish. I had a few in the 60s that turned out to be lead. So yeah, it's been really quiet. Nothing much to show you. Um, conscious that we're running out of time. This one is probably the best tone I've had for a little while, but it is a 75, so, you know, uh, not sure whether that's coins. I don't, wouldn't have thought so, not in those numbers, um, but we might have something of interest. Uh, but yeah, it's gone a bit quiet. So that said, I've had a really nice time. I've enjoyed digging uh, on a Friday afternoon, evening. I found a few bits, found a nice, lovely medieval token. And uh, yeah, just a bit of real metal detecting yet again. But importantly, found that lovely towel of mine that I'd lost months ago, which I know is of no interest to most of you, but uh, really important to me. All right. Yeah, I've moved it. Let's go in and have a look. Hinge off a door. <laughs> oh well. Well, heading back to the gate now. We got 163, 64-ish. Again, a bit wispy, but worth a dig. Encouraging, it's not a terrible tone, I have to say, so it's definitely worth putting the camera on for. Um, but yeah, I have had a few in the 60s that you won't have seen, which turned out to be lead and those kinds of things. But uh, yeah, we're still hopeful, aren't we? Until we walk, actually walk off the field, we live in hope. Right. Yeah, 64 on the top of that clod somewhere. Just don't be lead, oh, what are you? You're not lead, I don't think. Are you another button? Let's give it a wipe on the on the towel. Oh yeah. I don't know what that is actually. That's quite interesting. It's got a little bit of a button feel to it. Yeah, maybe it's just a very old corroded button, but yeah, okay. Well, I'll clean it up. I mean, it looks like there was some colour on it, but I'll clean it up back home. But uh, yeah, probably not the find I was hoping for, or oh, definitely not. Righto, a little bit long of time left. Let's hope we find a couple more. See you in a bit. Well, there we are then, gang. Uh, that's it, four hours in a blink of an eye. <laughs> uh, I always say that, don't I? But no, it was, a, it was a day that, or an evening that started with lots of promise. The sun was on my back, it was blue sky above. Um, and targets galore. Uh, and we started really well, found some nice bits, so that buckle bit, some buttons. Uh, we moved a little bit away from the, from the gate and we found a, a nice coin. We found that lovely, and it was worth coming for that alone, we found that lovely medieval token. And then after that, uh, the sun went in, the wind picked up, and we didn't find much at all, actually. We found plenty of targets, but not much to show you. And in the main, it was buttons and shotties and those types of things. But we found a few bits and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's my happy place, it's my permission. Uh, it's getting very, very quiet on here now. I don't find too much when I come down here, but I don't care. It's real metal detecting and I enjoy coming along for the ride. I hope you did too. Thanks as always for those of you that use the LP discount code. If you're not sure what that is, it's in the description. It's notched 10. If you go over to LP Metal Detecting in the UK, you can get 10% off most things. Uh, but for now, I'm going to head back. It's Friday evening. The sun is going quickly. I'm going to go and grab myself a beer and look forward to the weekend. Thanks as always for stopping by. If I do do a roundup, stick around for that. If not, I might just put some stills on what we found. But for now, I'm out of here. Thanks as always, and I'll see you soon. Well, that was an interesting few hours. Uh, really nice, actually, to get out and uh, enjoy the heat for a change. Actually feeling the sun on your back, uh, hopefully, is a sign of good things to come for our British weather. 
Uh, we're well into, into spring now. So, uh, yeah, lighter nights and warmer days, let's hope, anyway. Um, yeah, and thoroughly enjoyed it. It wasn't the, what you'd call the most prolific of hunts, but that said, there's plenty of stuff on the slate, as always, when that fields, uh, with that farm and those fields, I should say. So I'm not complaining. Um, plenty of stuff in Cat Corner, including a couple of harmonica reeds. Plenty of stuff in Lead Corner. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen buttons. Bit of a buckle. A mystery piece of metal. Not sure that's anything particularly. A horsey ringy thing. The buckle that wasn't. When that first came out, I was convinced. It's a draw pull. Uh, a little strap endy thing. Not bad. Uh, a George the Fourth. Um, it's a George the Fourth father. You can just about see. And you can just make out his, the day 1823. So quite, quite early into his reign. And there's Britannia. So again, never mind finding little coins. And it can never be described as a bad day, can it? When you pull a medieval farming token out of the field. So yeah, one for the cabinet, which as I always say, makes it a decent day. I hope you enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Thanks as always. And I'll see you soon. Take care.